So, um, yeah, welcome back, guys. Um, if you saw that last episode, you'll know, or you may well not know, because obviously my, you know, audio clean up everything, so it shouldn't make your ears bleed like it did mine, but that death scene was so loud. Um, despite the rest of the sound audio, that I think I'm gonna have to order some new eardrums off Amazon Prime now or something, you know. So I should have some new eardrums for the next hmm. two hours or so, maybe. Wow, that was ridiculous. Yeah. So, um, well, we've got to level up, haven't we? I was so focused on my uh, Amazon joke that I completely forgot. Actually, you know what that is, Jinin, or, um, they're different levels of ninja, that's one of them. If you actually, this is a good tie-in into my, uh, Patreon, because if you go on, even though it's more leaned towards my development side of things, it's still relevant to my, uh, video, or broadcasting type of things as well. But yeah, level two of Jinin is a level you can get on my Patreon, so, a little bit of a pimp there for it. Um... So we can change professions, it looks like. Let me just see. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I'm just looking. I don't want to change professions. Because, you know. Ninjuring is cool. So we've got six bonus points here. We can spend that in strength. Intelligence. I'll right-click for info. I was just wondering it. Intelligence, piety, or piety, vitality, dexterity, speed, and senses. Oh boy, we're gonna have to be thinking about this carefully. So we've got bonus points per attribute here. Three, what does that mean? Where is that? There's nine points there. Okay, I don't understand. Bonus points, nine bonus points. Can I spend that? No. Only here we can spend. Um. Okay, well, what do we think was weak for us, guys? Does it? It doesn't show what our health will be if we increase and such. So strength uh, affects any maneuver that requires physical strength from hitting creatures to damage to the damage done. Okay, so is that also our accuracy then? Strength also influences most weapon skills, carrying capacity and stamina. I think that's our accuracy then, right? Beautiful, that would have been dexterity. There's a chance to hit and penetrate with physical attacks. The number of physical attacks in combat and all weapon skills, the also effects skills which rely upon the body such as locks and traps, stealth, pickpocket and music. Okay, we want to be hitting some of that, I think. Um, so I'm not planning to go through this game with dead men business, and less or until I know what the parameters are for reviving them anyway, so I'm going to be happy at this stage for us to really do what's stereotypical in these situations and uh, really buff up our um oh idea let's turn it down a little turn back up um really buff up our uh, guys that are specialists and want their specialists in so for instance senses i will buff up uh iona's skill more for that um and then leave it generally for everyone else we don't need loads of people with good senses so to speak or at least more heavier lean for those uh that are strong in those areas so i'm thinking we want to get some in strength and dexterity. Vitality is the health though, right? Fix my hit points, stamina, and carrying passive characteristics as well as the likelihood of succumbing to disease. Uh gee. This one we definitely I def we don't feel need this for my character, do we really? Affects a character's the magic realm skills and heavily influences divinity. Piety also affects the amount of spell power a character gets when he gains a level as well as character's overall stamina. That's a weird place to you know, have stamina. And vitality does affect stamina as well, isn't it? Good. Okay. Good. We're not going to touch that for this character. Doesn't make sense. It's some in there. Dexterity. What about speed? That affects the initiative in combat, the number of swipes per attack, and the number of attacks per turn. Speed also influences some combat skills. At very high or very low levels, speed can also affect the character's armor class. Uh, have one in there as well. And what's intelligence saying? Affects the character's performance in mental tasks such as music, artifacts, engineering, communication, close and range combat, mythology, all forms and schools of magic except divinity and a character's skill with locks and traps. Damn. Kind of, well, 
I think Iona was a lock specialist, but I could be the secondary. And uh, I have more of an idea what we don't want to put points in than what we do. Hit points, stamina, and carrying capacity. Um, uh, I'm thinking maybe one dexterity and strength additional. So that one and that one. I think that's about good. Uh, there's nothing else we can do here. Just uh, yeah, I think we're good with that. I don't want to change that. And how much points do we have for here? Ah, nine points, okay, all right, cool. Right, <clears throat> my critical strike is blue for some reason. This skill is the character's primary skill. Primary skills with 25 bonus on top of their current value. Ah. This deadly skill, I was holding back, I thought it was on the belch. Mm. I feel like it's got slightly in my throat, but I'm okay. <clears throat> yeah. The deadly, this deadly, or the deadly, the deadly skill knowledge of the body that allows the character to strike a critical blow unarmed. Or with a close or extended weapon resulting in the death of his opponent. This skill also applies to thrown weapon criticals if the character possesses the special ability. Uh, controlling attributes includes the senses and speed. What? Okay, that changes things a bit. Senses and speed. See, if we want to really make that work for us then... and really kind of buff what we're best at, then we should be putting some points in that as well. Senses, drop the vitality a little. Put another one in speed. And this one in strength, put in senses. Right. Yeah, let's go with that. So I want to really kind of, I think it's going to be wise for us to focus on what we're sexy at for each character so that it counts. Okay, so I'll put 12 in there. What's communication doing? Influences NPC's opinion of a character, quite possibly affecting his willingness to talk. Intelligence and senses. Okay, I think we'll just leave that. I leave that for mythology as well. And that's just like the ability to recognize the true identities of monsters and determine their characteristics. Yeah, well, someone else will be doing doing that. I don't know. But I shouldn't go down here yet. Let's just focus on here for the moment. But wait a minute, don't we have to? Oh yeah, I think it does. Yeah, it has to spread across all of these. Ah, well, shit. We've already got points in sword. Martial arts. That's just completely un unharmed and determines a character's ability to hit and to penetrate when attacking with hands or feet in combat. Uh, yeah. Let's put two in that. Let's put another one in our bow. That's what we're going to be hitting with. Um. I haven't found any swords yet. Locks and traps. Uh, Silver so stealth is about character's ability to conceal himself from his opponent, avoid their physical attacks, giving him a bonus to his armor class, and making him virtually invisible in hand to hand combat. Whoa. Dexterity and intelligence. See, we didn't put any more in intelligence, but. So I'm thinking. Thinking now. Uh, so a few things have been affecting intelligence for us. So let's go. Uh, uh, at least for this first spin, let's try and match it with things we're going to pump points into. And that was for martial arts, or was it for stealth? Stealth. Is everyone in stealth? Because we're ninja. Um, I'm hesitant to put any more in this because I think Ion's going to be the girl for that. She's already got six. So it just seems. I don't think we need two people that are good with the same thing in that sense. That sense, that'd be only useful if we were going to walk around with certain dead characters, and which we're not going to do, unless we know a good way of recovering them. And it might become important later on. Pickpocket, I'm a bit confused about. I think that's probably Iron's department's worst pity. Pickpocket or shoplift items or gold from unsuspecting NPCs. I think that's a that sounds like a very quick load, quick quick say quick load type trial and error type thing. We'll leave that for Iona. Um, I got so much points in throwing and sling. Which makes sense because it's to do with throwing things, I suppose. 
maybe I might actually focus in on that. We'll get more throwing items and focus us on throwing items and hopefully someone else can use the bow. I just think it makes sense to enhance what we already have. Uh, I've got two points still remaining. I can't increase the critical strike anymore. Is that because it requires... Oh, right, so you can only do a maximum of three at a time. Okay, that's fine. Uh, close combat. Fix an attack success when the character is fighting. With any close, focus any weapons such as sword, dagger, or spear. Hmm. Ranged combat. And fix an attack success when the character is fighting with any ranged combat weapons such as the bow. Sling, throwing weapons or modern weapons for the ranger is determines his chance of a critical strike when using a bow or modern weapon. This skill also applies to ranged criticals with bows or modern weapons if the character possesses this special ability. Uh. Uh. Maybe on there. Um. Max out the martial arts a bit more. Yeah, I think that's good overall. This episode, this entire episode's from Bridge, probably just us uh, upgrading guys. Which is fair enough, you know. It's that kind of game. It's what you sign up for if you're watching this kind of playthrough. Um, right. So, Iona, I want to enhance her senses, but her communication score is blue. She does like to talk, doesn't she? Bless her. Communication skill points, I can't seem to check those out. Improves party camping. So she's a good influence, a good soul to be around. Um, trying to remember what, what was it, it said that was for uh, I suppose we'll know when we're going to, that was no next menu for her I don't think. Yeah, this is all she's got. She doesn't get anything else at the moment. If she gets anything else at all, which is kind of weird. I mean, she's level 2 minstrel now. Uh, change profession if desired. Distribute your attribute points. Yeah, I don't want to change profession, do I? Catch a tear. No, I bet. I'm going to leave them as they are. I don't think I'm going to change profession. Unless it ends up being a thing where we are really, really in trouble. We need to kind of like have something different. So what's she already high in? Dexterity, she's quite high in. Let's put one more in there. Intelligence she's quite high and that's gonna affect uh, oh yeah, uh, senses is definitely something we wanna can we only do three with that? We'll do three with that. I wanna keep playing on that as one of her strengths. Um let's increase her intelligence as well. Maybe those two. Yeah. Let's see what oh there is another menu. Okay. I thought that would be weird. Um, so what is this doing again for us? Lose the NPC's opinion of a character quite possibly reflecting his willingness to talk. This skill is character's primary skill. Primary skills for strength bonds. I don't know why it would be a thing that would be important, but maybe it will help in terms of, um, you know, when you're talking to people in in terms of, like, dialogue. Maybe she could swing things for us. So this, 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 this max it. It might end up being a waste of time, but I don't know. Put two there. Maybe three. That's going to be important. Uh, music. It's be to play enchanted instruments and bring forth from them different strengths of magical spells. Dexterity and intelligence affects that. Okay, and then let's increase maybe that to one. I'll just go back now and think. Dexterity and... What was it? Dexterity and intelligence? Yeah, it was. Um... Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. Yeah, I think we're good there, guys. I think that's good for her. Right, who next? Came up empty. Uh, let's go, Taku. Right, he is now a bladesman. If he was, he was just a level two bladesman. He was a level one bladesman. I can't remember. But anyway. Right, uh, so obviously he's one swords. Profession skills, um, and we want him to be more focused on being a ninja attacker. So it's going to be his dexterity is quite high, his speed's quite high. Let's get his strength up just for now, and we'll enhance. So vitality is health, isn't it? 
maybe put one on there and increase the speed uh, and maybe one index this will influence really when we get here so Slink. So yeah, he's never going to be able to use axes. It looks like. It might make him use shields at some point. So maybe just put one point there, and it's increase his sword abilities. Um, I want him to be able to use long something long range like the bow. So I'll put one in there as well. Uh, it's, mm, increase his. Close combat, put range combat up to one, maybe forgot the point. And dual weapons up again. I wonder if I thinly spread him too much. I think that's okay actually. I think that's okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, Tilan. She's a fryer now, level two. Uh, again, I don't know if they were that before they were level. But yeah, just in case. Uh, artifact skill bonus, remove cursed items to spell on dead artifacts. Okay, so hers is going to be definitely intelligent, but we, she's weak, isn't she, as well? I want to get her health up and as well as thingies, hit points, and stamina. So I'm going to put that up a bit. Him. Intelligence, piety. Ah, a little bit different because we get to pick a spell. Right, well, she's already got stamina. We've discovered that from that book that Iona found with her awesome skills. Um, I think we need more attack based things, but it depends on what Flicker's gonna have because they seem to overlap each other a little bit. It's a shame we can't unlearn things and pick something else instead. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. Charm. Non-combat. One enemy. Attempts to magically influence an NPC to be more friendly towards the party. See, them kind of things, I think it'll be really important. I'm already just leaning straight towards it. It costs five, though. So we might go back and see what increases our spell points as well. Hmm. Energy Blast, that's overlapping with Flicker, so no, I'll leave that. That can be her category, maybe. Acid Splash. One enemy. A small spread of burning acid damage to one creature. Frost. Paralyze. Frost. So an HP killing gust of cold damages a single creature. So, I mean, it's going to be... Oops. That was an accident. Uh... Make wounds. Combat one enemy thrown. Increases, inflicts magical damage to one opponent. I mean, what's her strongest thing is probably the cross, isn't it? But I think you can put points in individual types, can't you? Yeah. Yeah. The only thing is, what's this? Why does it say zero, zero, zero? Does that mean that? Stab. Oh no, and it's a seven, seven, but it's zero in the skill. I see. So that's kind of her effectiveness, I think. Yeah, it depends on what we get next then. So really, at the moment, we should be trying to stick in the areas where she's got high points in, such as here and here. Yeah, and here. And then let hopefully flicker is these. Yeah, that makes sense. I think. I really wanted that mind step or the, the charm I should say. But hopefully Flicker could do it. It might be a case of us going back right now and just seeing, you know, like just seeing the comparison comparison of the two and to remember that we did these three. Intelligence, piety and vitality. Let me just go back a second. Let me just see what Flicker's got going on. Uh we'll just do it so we can go into the next screen here. Yeah. Yeah. 
pretty much what we expected, right? But she hasn't got as many options at the moment. Hmm. She hasn't got as many options. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. We'll do that. Do that. I think. And uh, oops, wrong one. And, uh, um, and then it was one of these. She didn't have an have an option there. There did flicker though in there. So I'm wondering about her now. Actually, <laughs> she's got far less options for some reason. I'm wondering if she's a poor character now. Flicker in comparison. I'm not sure how we're going to make a better. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so I'll make wounds. One enemy. Oh, we already got heal wounds. What's bless? Does it to the party. Magically increase the party's armor class and aids their chance of hitting their targets. Power level increases the duration of the spell but has no impact on its effectiveness. That could be more useful, maybe. Bless costs four points, we could use it twice. Yeah, I think I'm leaning towards that. A buff for us. What's paralyzed zone? Say we're one opponent by solar panel life fluids, duration of the ice is sent by power. I mean the thing is, if we can last longer and hit better, I think that's the way to go. So I'm gonna go with Bless for her. I think that's the wise thing to go with from there. Now this is the bit here I was thinking is going to come up. We can start putting points in places we haven't got points. Interesting. Three. Um, which one was which? So this is the overall wizardry. So the wizardry, wizardry heavenly, heavily even affects the learning of new mage spells and to a lesser degree than the individual realm skills which contributes spell points to every realm it also affects the chance of success when casting wizardry spells and that's controlled by intelligence hmm okay, this increased the artifacts for, for sure is that by three as is our way let's put one in her throwing in the sling because she misses too much and alchemy 12 which one was alchemy do we have a category that was alchemy itself or is that like a separate thing bless so what's that one bless is that under divine magic maybe i'm not sure and then spell prison how do you find what what category it's under I'm not really sure. Cause that's earth, obviously wind, mental, mental. So that it must be divine magic. But then psionics, psionics heavenly affects the learning of new psionic spells and to lesser degree than the individual realm skills. Psionics contribute spell points to every realm. It's a chance of success when casting psionic spells. Hmm. Yeah. Um. Wait there. Which one? Which one's psionics? I don't even. That's fire, right? That's fire, water, wind, earth, mental, and bless. Do you see psionics anyway? She's got seven in it, though. All right. Increase cells too, and I guess we just put some some spell power into the bless. I'm thinking that's the bless. One night must be divine. Seven. Seven. Yeah, because the other one is that we've got points in is five. So it has to be that one, right? Doesn't it? It could be. It's not air magic. Yeah. It's definitely not air magic. Uh, ability to rebuy upon request divine and power successfully with a magical incantation. Divine magic heavily affects the success of a spell as well as the amount of spell points in the divine room. It also affects the character's resistance to the divine room. Intelligence and deity. Let me just look at our uh, 
in terms, so I think we've, yeah, I'm happy with that. I think I'm happy with that. Bless I'm happy with. It says seven. There. Yeah. yeah, it is. It's gone to five. So yeah, seven on that one then. Awesome. Okay, so that should make her more deadly. Overall. I wouldn't have mind putting a point in the Mason fail though. Flail fail. Flail though, but maybe next upgrade. Alright, Flicker, your turn. You've got much less magic, which is worrying me a bit. Considering you're a mage, it doesn't really make, make any sense. Hmm. <sighs> Interesting. And wizardry's a hot skill. 5% bonus to all resistances, plus 2 base to attack. What's the C again? I forget. Attack count, maybe, or something. Unusual, unusual starting equipment. Reduced carrying capacity, equipable item weight limit, what? faster magic power recovery. Okay, I, I don't know. No, it's typically we just go with those three, but I'm not sure. Definitely have to increase her vitality as well. I'm not sure she relies as much on piety, right? I don't know if it's because of his divinity. Spell power, probably though. Yeah, let's do that. Do the same until we until we read otherwise. We'll go with that. It's just the amount of skill she's got is a bit meh. Options is not very great, is it? Uh, Ice is an enemy group. Mage and Psionic. Meddles with the mental perspective of a group of creatures causing fear, which reduces their ability to fight or in extreme courses may cause Complete unconsciousness. Terrified upon to make cower in fear or flee in terror. I think we're going with that, guys. There's not really much else we want to go over. What's the light going to do? Oh a small flaming ball lasts in the entire day. Illuminates the area around the party. The amount of illumination provided is dependent on the power level. What's the point of that? 24 game hours. Is it just literally a light? Is that something we're going to need at some point? I don't know. I'm going to go with terror for now. And that's the mental skill. She's got much limited range of options. Mm. Wizardry up next. Mental magic up. Um, right. Mm. So, uh, T Land's already got her on uh, artifacts. We don't need to increase that. Let's put one in flowing, flowing sling. Maybe one in Staff and Wand. Another one in Ranged. I think that's our lot. Yeah, okay, cool. Hopefully this is the right options I'm making here. Um, right. Oh. I forgot to see what she was. What was she? A level what now? Flicker is level two magician. Magician. Okay. Vacant. Yeah, very vacant. Right, level two squire of the Lord tree for Kenneth. So he's a dual weapons, skill bonus, and health regeneration. I've not seen that in action. Health regeneration. I'm not sure that's. Maybe it just means while he's sleeping, it just increases quicker. So definitely want to do strength for him. And dexterity because he's dual wielding. He needs that. Um, well, that's it. Okay. Alright, that's cool. Two weapons, let's just check. Primary sky, I yeah, know that. Um, dexterity and senses. Ah. Oh. Well, then that changes things all. Senses. You know, I'm gonna actually commit to boost him what he's best at, as I've done so far consistently. Okay. Let's increase close combat, buff that up a bit. Uh, swords, daggers. I've had a few axes, but does that come under, f oh no, there's axe there. 
So it would be, I don't think there's much point. Because it's going to cost, it's going to have to spend so much points to make him good in it. It's going to have to sell those or something to access at some point if we get the opportunity. And just focus on what he's already sexy in. Yeah. 12. 12 there. And maybe one more in close combat. Oh, we've still got a couple of more points. How much points did he have? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. He had, did he have more points than the rest? Did, I don't know. Um, so I'm about to 3. That one's up to 3 maxed. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. Okay, proper stats based up upgrading leveling up systems. I like it. It's missing in a lot of games now because it does feel like you're just getting... I don't know, too generalistic. We can get quite specific here, which is nice. And if we do it right, it's going to pay off, I imagine, rather than just kind of relying too much on a luck seed. I wanted to do a hard save, just in case. Uh, we'll pull it. We'll call it first. Uh, after first level, if it fits. First leveling. Isn't that sexy, crunchy sounding? Unoiled keyboard girl. Yeah, and then we'll quick save. We need to go back to where we were and hope that the enemies haven't all respawned. Otherwise, they'll be testing out our new abilities, their new strengths. We're now level two. We took on a noxious, or well, noxious slime and one. That was level three, so we're feeling pretty confident overall. I think the party's attitude is pretty positive overall. Uh, doesn't seem like anything's massively respawned as such. And we were using the left hand system, wasn't we? So, oh. The combat begins. That, that's, that's respawned, surely. Uh, right. Okay. Yeah, alright. Nice. Nice. It's gonna launch an attack. Let's see what leveling's done for us so far. It looks good. And he's missed. No damage. Liking it so far. Um, can't make them sleep. I don't wanna use any spells, so it's a waste. Uh, can she reach? No. I think it automatically does it anyway, she's running out of those darts. Alright, let's go. Nice. Double nice. Triple nice. Lovely. We are victorious. 251 experience. Awesome. Uh, my range has increased. Taku's close combat's increased. Iona's throwing and mythology has increased. Awesome. All right, what's this? Oh, cool. Some leggings and some bullets. Wow. That thing must have had indigestion with all that stuff in it. So at the moment, only. Oh no, it's not only actually. I can. What does it take it to the party? Uh, I don't know. Taku maybe. I noticed as well, uh, the stats have gone up as well, if you guys noticed that. I don't think I was on 21 before. And Tucker wasn't on 20, wasn't I was on something like 9 or 8. And uh, Tilan's on 12 now. Flicker's on 8, she was on 6, I think. She really needs more than that, though, jeez. 23, 18 is nice. We're leveling up quite nice, I thought it was really low to begin with. You can see we were getting one killed from one hit. So at least we were able to take. At least two years before we die now. Um, what I don't know, maybe Taku. Our artifacts have increased. And particularly in Flicker. Let's go into the menus. Let's see what's what. Uh, we don't know if it's cursed again. It's going to be AC plus four. Um, I'd like to keep the front liners in front. So that'd be better than what he's got there. Uh, the same, I won't move to where that would uh, 
Fair. Tier. Tier. Let me just check if they're AC plus one minimal. AC plus two. I just wanna. Who's got the lowest health again, isn't it? Flicker. She's got three pence already. Gee. I can't wear those. Four. Two and two. So yeah, Ion is the natural one for that. Uh, 28 versus 31. Okay, that's alright. Um, yeah, Candice is still on double knife, so that's good. Take that out, really, because it's Thanks. not really, um, it's putting the party items that it's kind of like we know. These are to sell as such. I don't know how it affects the weight carrying as such, but it's kind of pointless. Maybe put that one there in place. So it's counted as a sword, I think, so. Yeah. Ah. Oh. What are those? Are those four? Drain, special attack, drain, stamina 2%. 5 to 11 damage, 47 them. I think one of the enemies dropped that, didn't they? Ammunition, is that for the bow? Or. Yeah, it is. I think. Okay. Uh, is it like I've got one shuriken? Is that how much is in there? <laughs> yeah, right, let's just use it, get out of the way for the moment. And I can't have the two, so yeah, alright. Uh, hmm. But who has got, we put one point in both for a taco, wasn't it? So, but then I won't be able to use this while I think this needs a bow, right? Doesn't it? Oh, it doesn't. Oh. That's it? I don't know. Hit it. I don't know, let's just see. If I can get out of the menu. Um, yeah. It does, 47, don't need a bow. Just need the throwing skills. Awesome. Okay, good. Then I can. I, I can't remember if it was Tanku or Canis that we gave the bow point to. Where was it? Here we go. So, yeah, it was him. And. Yeah, okay, good. Good, good, good. So. Yeah, you can have that now. 47 should cover me for a while. As far as far shots are concerned. Uh, yeah. And then I got my hand to hand. Oh, no hands. No hands. Unarmed. How do I set it so that it's. There we go. But then I can't have that one. Alright. Alright. I think that's what we want. I think. Getting a bit confused. Because, yeah, all right, I think that's what we want, we want right here. Just uh, switch around again. Yeah, how do. And um, quick save. All right, left hand system. We didn't even take any damage from those all those slimes because we were just killing them really quick, so that was pretty nice. Very encouraging. We are in search mode, aren't we? Yes, we are. Because the magnifying glass is still highlighted. That's good. Okay. Now remember, we ran away earlier from about a million rats. So, yeah. That's something to consider. Gonna make sure it's activated. It's not like a thing you have to turn on or off, but I don't know, just in case. Should be finding more things, hopefully. Let's grab it. See, here we go. We've been there before, and she didn't find it before, so yeah, I'm not being paranoid. It is a real thing. Uh, yeah. All right. All right. So keep looking. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. We're just waiting in we payrolls here to Brotherhood of Ascension, whatever that is. Maybe it's the, the monks thing. The monkey looking faction, like the Planet of the Apes looking dudes. I think they're called the Monk on it. Oh shit, here we go. Right, we don't want these getting around us, so we're gonna have to do this here. They and let's attack first. Not hope for the best. Right, let's do it. Wow, that's wild. Oh my gosh. Now the bullshit starts. It's not just the fact that we're me. Wait, there's bugs. What's bugs doing in this? Right, as long as they can't get behind us, we should be alright. There we go. I'm not a bugs are though. So I see that on the screen. You guys see it at the top there, it says bugs. Four bugs, I can only see rats. Five of them. Look, look, look there it is, what's that? Looks like a a knit. That one's sniffing us. Is it our turn? Oh, it's the bugs are still moving in the background, we can't see them, that's all. Alright, 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 alright. Now the only problem is where we're standing, I don't think Kenneth can attack. Which really sucks. I can't even attack actually, it says red. Wait a minute, why is it? Oh. Does it do, do, you need, do you need the bow then? I don't know. Out of reach. Out of reach. Well that's weird. Yeah, I don't think I can attack. I think it does need the bow. Out of reach. This is some bow. Alright. Uh. Mm. Terror. Sweep. Oh, actually, that's not. That's not. No, 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 actually, best to use the. thingy, it's a freebie. Yeah. There we go. With pleasure. Let's run with that, I think, maybe? Yeah. Nice. Nice. Job, Taku. Nice. Good job, Iona. Oh, it's just pesky bugs to it, but I think they're gonna have to wait their turn. They won't be able to get around them. I don't think. I hope not. Could do it with a group attack thing like that. Acid splash or something there if it wasn't just one enemy. That'd be awesome. Alright, they're roaches. So they were just identified as bugs before, but now we can see them. The uh, party, one of the party members has identified them. It's probably in the list here somewhere. I wonder. See that identifies the bugs, see? They're roaches. <laughs> With an exclamation mark. Awesome. Right. Um. Alright. Okay, so uh, if everyone's focusing on one, one, they shouldn't be able to do anything, I think, the roaches. So let's just keep on this. It's awake, it's awake for now, but it's alright. Free health, yeah, we should be okay. There we go. Now that might have created an opening. Um, they're still asleep. Probably best to go for this one. Eight of eight. What's that one? Seven of seven. Let's go for that one. I really, I think I messed up here though. He needs a bow, or he's blocked. I don't know, it could be because he's blocked. I don't want them getting around us. They get around us. That is bad. We'll be finished. Alright, some of them are awake, so let's get the sleep on again. I think the yellow bars are stamina, right? So it seems to be going down a bit. Um. With pleasure. She's only getting those free for some reason. Hmm. Tinan's running out of the uh, throwing darts. Don't need to bless us just yet. Eh, let's go with it. Damn it. Nice. Tuck is pretty good with the bow, isn't he, at the moment? I don't know if it's luck or what, but he's doing really good. Alright, might take some damage here, get ready. Oh shit. Those things might give you diseases, the roaches probably if they ouch get you. Oh look, swords are available. 
Ein Unhand. Unhand. Unarmed. <laughs> right. I wanted to run and sleep again. Which is pretty much their main function at the moment. And otherwise, everything else is cool. I'm happy with what we got going. Ah, come on, can it seriously? Missed again. Missed twice. I know it's a rat, so I suppose it's, it should be a bit, you know, fairer to him. I just don't want these ones to bite. I don't know if they have seas or what. Time for bed. Oh, she's. Oh! That sleep command runs us uh, tired, makes her tired. I didn't realize certain things cost quite a bit of stamina. It's not exactly a freebie, I see. Right. Okay, we're learning. We're, we are learning. It's all good. Very well. Who needs to sleep then? Actually, no, I prefer if. Very well. If uh, Flicker actually just attack instead. How do I. Uh, how do I make her just attack? That's not gonna make the commands go, is it? Very well. She's still got the sleep on there, right there. Uh, I don't know, you cancel that. Right there. Oh. Right there. That one maybe? Very well. There we go. Fine. And let her do the thing because she got wiped through throwing darts. Are they equal in the skill there? Yeah, eight and eight, so it's about equal chance for the sleep. So should be very well. Reasonably good move. Let's hope that Iona's got some energy still. Someone's got a spell for energy actually though. If we needed it badly. Oh man, them rocks. Come on, stop missing, guys. Oh, man. We really need these to sleep. Alright, there we go. I was about to boast, but... Ouch, too busy uh, attacking. No effect. Does that mean they can't fall asleep, or... Or what? Hmm. Um, hmm. Okay. Those two at the back are still asleep, which is great. Very well. How much health does it have? It's only got three, but it's just the movement that's a problem. Hmm. Which one's the one that. stamina one? Very well. Can she still use it? She's got a tiny bit. With pleasure. And hopefully, T Lam will wake her up. And she doesn't just fall straight asleep, full blown. Okay, there we go. There we go. What? Oh, that right, yeah, she falls asleep. Right, yeah, that's right. Mind what you're doing. She's put the stamina on herself by accident there. Excellent. Can you believe it? Jeez. It's a good thing it wasn't an offensive stuff. Really offensive one. Or has that been real bad? Oh, much better. There we go. It's only a tiny bit though. Cost stamina, I don't know. Spell fizzles. So the spell fizzled, but oh it didn't work. She must have just recovered. Wow, man, t really screwing up with the spells. Has to be said. To roaring levels, even though we upgraded their points. I don't know, what's, what's, is that concentration or? I don't know what that's about, why it's so low. Wow. There we go. Someone had to hit, didn't they? Alright. Well, we took some damage, but we got it done. In the end, is it level? Level one, yeah. Hmm. The 
dexterities need to go up, I think. It's a bit too much missing for my tests. Yeah. Um, can I just make... Very instead well. of wasting out the bolts? For some of them. But she can't, she's too late. Uh, just defend. And I'm wasting out the stuff because it's, it's costing. That mission is real in this game, man. <laughs> right, 423 experience, a lot of experience. We might get some level ups. Darling, I just keep getting better and better. Yeah. Uh, both skills increase attack, range, combat, and critical strike. He's doing well with it, isn't he? Uh, T-Land's range combat's increased as well as their mythology. Iron's music skills increased and their range combat's increased. And Flicker's throwing sling has increased. As well as their range combat. So, obviously, it seems the more we use things, logically, hey, last Skyrim star. And I suppose, why is my keyboard not on? Oh, that's just not working. It's um, increasing as we use things, which is great. At least I think so, anyway. Feel free to disagree. I'll level her up in a moment. Let's just uh, get to a point where we can cut this episode. Maybe oh, I was about to say I thought that was a. Uh, I thought that was a um, enemy. Skills increased there. Oh, right. So I'm just probably saying don't put it in that slot, I guess. But we needed some foreign items. Anything else in this uh, field? There's something. There we go. Kill poison. Um. Hmm. I don't know. Uh. Just throwing it in there. Right. Let's keep to our left-hand system and get lost too badly. Okay, uh, uh. Vacant. This is a big s system, this monastery. Very big. Bond unidentified. Artifacts increase it too. Uh. Spell knock knock. Power is four. Level power of the power is four. And you can carry 25 maximum. This looks like a AM. What do you call it? Um, I'm forgetting what the word is. You know, when you can use it once at a time. Uh, magically tries to hold a locks a locks tumblers in the open position. The user can sustain only one instance of the spell at a time. When cast on a trapped ch trapped chest, it tries to open the chest and circumvent the trap. That can be very handy. That. Should that be in Iona's hands then, maybe? Since she's our trap girl. Maybe. Well, I'll hold it for now. Uh, hmm. Oh boy, that looks ominous. That looks very ominous. There is a boss in there or something. I'm gonna quick save for we open that. Probably gonna have to go a different way. I don't think we're gonna be able to handle whatever might be in this room. Potentially, it feels ominous. But actually, you know what we'll do? Actually, let's level her up first. Um, so, what was we doing for our senses? And uh, I think it was intelligence, wasn't it? And then we'll increase her vitality again. Increase the communication. I don't know if it's going to help us or not, but I'm doing it. Increase some locks and traps. And increase that music. Okay. Right. Quick save. And then in the next episode, <laughs> we'll see what's behind this door. Um, how's our health looking? It's not looking bad, actually. To be found. Not bad. So I don't think we need to even camp. Well, 
I think if we chance it, it's gonna be we're gonna get attacked. But we'll maybe finish off with that and see what happens. So we'll try to camp here. I think we're gonna get attacked. Wow, we didn't get attacked. Nothing spawned. Unbelievable. Alright. The next episode, guys, we're gonna go through this door and get molded probably. Thanks for watching and yeah, we're making good progress, getting some levels going and um it's getting good, the ammunition and the firing weapons are a bit low in certain aspects, which is kind of uh, not great. But, um, you know, we'll get there. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, don't forget to share, subscribe, like, comment, um, all the usual things you do if you like stuff. And if you don't like it, share it with people you don't like, there you go. Got no excuse. Cheers.